in this video we're going to talk about gradient in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody innocent and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing if you've been here a while you know that i use gradient a lot in photoshop so in this video i'm going to break it down for you we're going to discuss what gradients are how you can use them in photoshop the types of gradients that we have in photoshop how to create your own gradient and how to download external gradients into photoshop this video is packed so why don't you stick around and let's get into the video all right so here in photoshop i'm using photoshop 2021 but this should or you should have gradients in any version of photoshop that you are using this is a typical example of gradient in photoshop where you have two or more shades of colors transitioning smoothly so the question you ask yourself is what is or what are gradients is it it or are what is a gradient so you can think of gradient as a tool that allows you to create a smooth transition between two or more colors so like i said earlier this is a typical example of a gradient where we have two colors one from here one from this end but it creates a smooth transition between the two colors so gradients are mostly used to create visual effects in photoshop like what you see over here and they are mostly used for creating backgrounds for adding shades to different objects or test and for creating special effects for instance adding it to a test effect to create a gradient test effect all right so let's go back to the basics there are different ways you can create gradients in photoshop the first and most simple one is what is given to you in the toolbar so when you look at the tools over here you can see a gradient tool over here that is the first one that you can use to create a gradient so once you select that gradient you can go to the gradient bar over here to edit your gradient now the moment you select this tool you can drag straight from top to down or from right top to the left down or even from the top to the down in the middle and then it is going to create a shade of gradient for you so what you see over here is what is known as a gradient now you see that we have two different colors over here transitioning smoothly onto the background now you can go to the gradient bar over here you click on it and you can change your gradient colors or you can change the colors to any color at all that you have but let me mention this in photoshop 2021 for instance photoshop has given you different presets of gradients that you can use starting from the basics to the reds the blue the purples so any one of them that you open let's say purple so for the purple shades you are going to get different kind of gradients that are purple shades so we have this one over here which is a two color gradient you can have this which is also a two color gradient and then you can have this which is a four color gradient and that said it means that you can create as many gradient shades as you want starting from the two color gradients to up to four or even five and you can add many to them if you want to so just assuming that i want to create let's say a six color gradient over here i already have four so what i need to do is i can bring my keza in the middle over here left click and then i can add my color right over there and i can add another color also here and now you can see that we have six shade of color for our gradient now for any of these ones that you select you can edit it to your own color so for instance i can easily left click over here and i can change this color to any color at all that i want so i can change this one also and change it to any color that i want and after i'm done with this i can go ahead and click ok and once i pick the gradient tool i can then use it to create a gradient another way which is the easiest way to create a gradient is by also using the layer adjustment tool so when you go to the bottom of your photoshop software you're going to see the create new fill or adjustment layer if you click on that you're going to find gradients in there now this gradient and the one that we just illustrated are the same nothing changes over here the only difference is that this type of gradient is going to create an extra layer for you so anytime you want to make changes to it you can make changes to it unlike the first one that we used later on when you are done with everything that you want to do and you want to make changes it will be quite difficult to do that so i mostly prefer using this type of gradient as i can make further changes to it 
in the future so just like the first one you can click on the gradient bar over here and then you can choose any gradient sample that you want to use and edit it in most cases i advise that you choose the basic one over here so that you would have the black and white color and you can customize it to your own liking to your own colors so let's just assume that we've created this type of gradient you can go ahead and click ok from here back here you have the gradient properties where you have the style the angle and then the scale and the reverse let's explore some of them now the style over here can also be referred to as the type of gradient that we have so the first style or the first type of gradient is the linear gradient where it goes from top to down down to top left to right or right to left i hope that makes sense all right so once you pick the linear gradient it is basically going to go from a linear point of view when you click on this button you're going to find other types of gradients that we have as well the other one is radial which basically creates kind of a circular type of gradient for you so you have one of your colors or if you are using multiple colors you have many of the colors creating a shade for you so let me just make multiple colors over here so that you can see exactly what i'm trying to talk about so let's assume that we make this five point gradient and let's change this to different colors we can have this color as well. so you realize that this is creating kind of a circular type of gradient for you where it's forming the gradient in rounded or kind of a rainbow type of gradient so basically this is how the radial type of gradient also looks like and now we can also have the angle so the angle is going to create the gradient for you in an angular form so you can see that it picks all the colors that you've selected and then it is going to change it to a different or come from different angles for you and there are the rest reflected and of course the diamond one which creates kind of a diamond type of gradients for you all these type of gradients are useful depending on the type of projects that you are working on all right so let's go back to the very basic one so that i can use that to illustrate this to you and let's go to linear so the next thing that you look at also is the angle just like the name implies angle is basically the angle from which the gradients are being positioned so once you start rotating this angle over here you'd realize that the colors are also going round and going from different angles so you might not actually need it on this side once you flip it to this side you're going to see that this um, gradient is kind of reflecting in different angles or moving from one angle to the other so you can keep it let's say this area and the scale also determines how much of the other color is showing so you realize that we have two colors over here the more i open up the shade the more the other color which is the extra color tends to move away and the more i turn it to the left side you realize that it comes in here a bit more we don't want you never want your gradient to be like this because we define gradient as a way of creating a smooth transitioning color between two or more colors okay so you don't want your gradient to look like this because this is not smooth this is not transitioned so you need to always make sure that your skill is a bit up like that so that it will create that smoothness for you Another thing that you need to really know when you are dealing with gradients is also the reverse. So basically when you have two colors, you can reverse it. One of them is going to be the dominant color and one is going to be like the shade. So once you turn this on and off, you are basically just going to reverse the two colors that you have. And that is all that you need to know about the properties of gradient. Now for this gradient, the more reason why I said that it is very important or it is very useful is after it's created this layer for you you can even decrease the opacity if you don't want it to fill it that much so you can decrease the opacity so that it fills with the other background that you're having or you can even set it to a different type of blend mode so that it blends with the other color or if you have an external background that you're going to use which i'm going to later explain it in this video you can also use this another way you can also create a gradient is when you are using it to make emphasis or using it to create an effect for example you are using it on a test an image or any other object so let's quickly create a test all right so let's assume that we have this test we can create a gradient effect on this test and to do that you can actually use the gradient layer adjustment field but it's not prudent to do that so 
the easiest way to do this when you are creating a gradient on a test or any other object is to use the blending options so you can right click on this test for instance go to your blending options and then you can add your gradient overlay so you realize that we have one gradient overlay here we have another gradient here and there is a gradient in the blending options so once you pick the gradient overlay now make sure that this can be very confusing for instance if you are on this bevel and emboss and you want to create a gradient you can select the gradient over here to take it but you don't see the properties so once you take this you click on the gradient overlay itself so that you can see the properties and then you can use or you can apply the same principles that i explained earlier to add your gradient so you can click on your gradients bar and now you can choose any gradient at all that you're going to use on this one quite simple right so after you're done you can click ok and then you can decrease your opacity you can change your blend mode to any type of blend mode that you want you can also change your style the properties that i explained earlier and any other thing that you want to change over here as well once you're done you can go ahead and click ok before we look at the different ways you can use gradients in photoshop which i've already explained some to you how do you create your own gradient in photoshop or perhaps after creating a gradient like this one that you love so much how do you save it so that you can use it for future projects all right so let's use the new layer adjustment field and once you've created a layer like this you can double click on this layer thumbnail here to edit your gradient so we double click on that one and let's set our own colors so let's pick any different color what color are you guessing all right so let me go for this and okay this one so the moment you change the colors you've already created your own gradient and like i explained earlier you can add a point to it to add a different color to it. so let's change this color to a bit greenish and let's click okay so i've already created my gradient or i've created a customized gradient now to save it it's very simple you just need to go ahead and click on the new over here so you can click on this and then it is going to create that gradient over there for you so you can right click on that gradient and you can rename the gradient so let's assume innocent innocent over here and we can click ok so this gradient is called innocent we can edit that anytime we want to use it and we can also use it in different projects if you don't want it anymore you can right click and then go to delete gradient and then you can delete that gradient you can also export it or you can export this particular gradient and use it in different places especially if you are into web development or any other thing like that so that is how you can easily create your own gradient and then save it for future use now that we are creating our own gradients we can also download external gradient so you don't necessarily always have to download your gradient yourself or make gradients yourself but you can download one as well there are different websites but i'm going to give you a very short and simple way to go about this quickly add over to any browser all right so i'm going to use google chrome to illustrate this the easiest way to go about this is one if you know the gradients that you want to download for instance if i want a set of gradient that is like gold so i can go for gold gradients and you see that it brings it over to you so gold gradient photoshop and sometimes you can even add download to it so that it gives you an option to download so brush breezy is one of the places that i normally download gradients from so you can check brush breezy for instance but i recently downloaded one from here so i can click on this one so this is an instance where you know the type of gradient that you want to download okay but if you don't know the type of gradient that you want to download you can use a different approach of course so over here you can come around and then click on download i've already downloaded this gradient so let's look for another one so let's go for the bronze photoshop gradient so i'm going to click on download over here and then it is going to download for me most of these gradient packs comes in zip files so you need to download winrar to make sure that you are able to access this once it downloads you just double click on the winrar file or the zip file you open it and then you can go to the resource uh, or you open it to the gradient that you have so this is the gradient it is normally in the format grd file so you always make sure that you have that now to install this gradient in your photoshop make sure that you've opened photoshop already and then you are going to 
just double click on this and then it is going to open in photoshop and install itself so let's quickly verify if this has been installed in our photoshop to do that you can open any gradient that you've created or you can even use the gradients over here so let's use this one you double click on that and then you open your gradients panel and then you can scroll down to the last part so it says resource boy bronze gradient so when you open that folder you'd realize that the bronze type of gradient are over there so we can click on any one of them to use it and it's as simple as that you can as well use this on your test so if i open my test double click on the fx over here and go to the blending options i can open my gradient open my gradient bar scroll down and then i can open my resource bronze gradient and then i can select any gradient at all that matches or that works for me it is that simple that is how you can easily download gradient and install it in photoshop now that you've seen all that you need to know about gradient how do you effectively use gradient in photoshop the first one is by using it as a background so if we turn off this test over here you realize that this gradient can serve as a background for us let me quickly change it to something that looks seamless very simple so this one for instance oops all right this one for instance or let's say this one looks very sleek so you can use this as a background and if you've been here for a while you know that i mostly use gradient in photoshop also you can use it on test like i illustrated to you earlier you can use to create effect on test so you just need to add your gradient to it and then you are going to choose your gradient you can as well use it on photos images so there is this effect called the gradient effect which i made a tutorial about it links will be in the description if you want to check that so to give you a glimpse of how the gradient effect works you can basically there's a picture of jackie so you can add your gradient on top of it using the gradient here also you go to gradient and then you can choose any gradient that you want so let's go to the greens over here and choose let's say this gradient right over here any gradient at all that you want to use so let's choose this one now you can go to the blend mode and then you can choose any blend mode for it so the type of blend mode you choose will determine how it is going to reflect so something like this you know there are many instances um, photographers create or use lights to create this type of shade so you can use something like this as well to create a gradient overlay like this this is not actually how i did it in the other video where you can check it out but i'm just giving you a glimpse of how gradients can be used on images or how gradient can be used to create the gradient effect in photoshop and this and many other ways are some of the ways you can use gradient to create emphasis on pictures on subjects on backgrounds and all in all to create visually aesthetic designs and images yeah so there are other videos about how to use gradients for backgrounds how to use gradients in flyers and i'm going to link some of them in the description you can check it out i'll be getting value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very smoothening thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye